talks about electromagnetic radiation, the first and the topic of atomic structure. The reason we talk about electromagnetic radiation in this chapter is that it's electromagnetic radiation, or, or light, is the only tool that we really have to look inside of an atom and, and see what's going on there. It's a, it's a really valuable tool. So we need to um, make sure we know a few things about the light electromagnetic radiation so that we can do this. So electromagnetic radiation um, acts as a wave. Um, um, and you'll see later it acts as a particle too, but we'll get to that. And so we need to know a few things about waves. Right? Um, waves have a wavelength. We're going to use the symbol lambda. That's my attempt to draw a lambda right here. This is what lambda. And la uh, the wavelength is just the distance from one part of the wave to the next identical part. So usually we go from the very top of a peak to the very top of the next peak, or it could go from the bottom of a trough to the bottom of the next trough. That distance is the wavelength of that, that wave. Um, we also, a wave also has frequency, and frequency and wavelength are interrelated. Um, if it takes this wave one second to travel this distance from one edge of this white area to the next, then the number of peaks or troughs that um, pass that 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 um, it take that are in that region um, is the frequency. So if this this one would have four from here to here is one, two, three, four cycles or peaks, um, and thus its frequency would say would be four hertz or four per second. A hertz is the same as one over seconds. This wave okay, has a shorter wavelength, notice that, and a higher frequency. So there are eight cycles in the region, the region here, the, the region that it passes through in one second. Um, and so that's, that's actually um, a valuable thing to remember is that wavelength and frequency are inversely related. The longer the wavelength, the, the shorter, uh, the, the smaller the frequency or the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency. And this one, it has an even shorter wavelength and a higher frequency. So the relationship between wavelength and frequency, the symbol that we use for frequency is a Greek letter nu. Um, this is a better sample right down here, there. Um, is that the wavelength times the frequency is equal to the speed of the wave. Because we're talking about electromagnetic radiation, all light or electro electromagnetic radiation has the same speed in a vacuum called the speed of light. And we're going to always assume it's in a vacuum. And that speed is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Memorize this relationship and memorize this constant, the speed of light, lowercase c is its symbol. The units of wavelength in this equation are meters. The units of frequency are one over seconds, inverse seconds, or hertz, the same thing. And the speed of light is in meters per second. So, um, different forms of electromagnetic radiation um, have different wavelengths and just different frequencies. And it ends up that there is a relationship between the energy and the frequency and the wavelength. So, these are the known forms of electromagnetic radiation from the highest energy, increasing energy this way, or um, shortest wavelength to the longest wavelength and the lowest energy up here. So gamma rays have the shortest wavelength, the highest frequency, and the highest energy of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. And all the way through x-rays to ultraviolet, the visible region, this, this uh, picture is not to scale. The visible region is only from about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, 400 being blue, violet, 700 being red. So you should know um, the relative positions of these forms of electromagnetic radiation, radio waves being the longest up to 10,000 meters, um, and the, but the lowest energy. And you should know that visible light, the light that we can see with our unaided eyes, goes from about 400 nanometers to about 700 nanometers, 400 being violet, 700 being red. Increasing energy to the left, so shorter wavelength, higher energy, higher frequency. Longer wavelength, lower energy, lower frequency. 
All right, so let's do an example. Um, it ends up that a unit of light, we'll see later that light can act as a particle, and those particles are called photons. A photon of red light. So there's some red light, some light. Um, and we want to find the wavelength of that light in nanometers, commonly used for um, visible light nanometers. And the frequency of that light is 4.61 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or inverse seconds. So what's the wavelength? Well, we just plug into this equation here. Lambda times nu is equal to C. Solve for lambda because we're asked for the wavelength. Remembering that C, the speed of light, is a constant that we know, going to memorize. Plugging in the frequency down here. Notice hertz and inverse seconds are the same. And we get the wavelength, but it's in meters, right? That's how, how the units work out here. 6.50 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. And then converting into nanometers, we just replace the prefix nano with what it means, times 10 to the minus 9th. You use it as a conversion factor, and we get our wavelength. Our answer is 650 nanometers.